people rather than your people I say God lack ability to resist ferocious Jesus was saying it he said oh, don't you know the parable of that woman who wanted a judge to avenge her he said the judge was not godly but the woman worried the judge with constant visitation I said the woman worried worried the judge with before in the morning the woman has come he said avenge me the bible says the judge avenged that woman not because the man was a good man but because the woman disturbed the judge Jesus was teaching us on how we should disturb God I told you in 2020 in 1997 1997 is 27 years ago I was to buy 98 Warri Road and money was everywhere and we kneel down somewhere I will cry and pray I will cry and pray on the wooden bench I was, I was young too I will cry and pray I will cry and pray I will cry and pray I didn't know how to get the money you know you have a need and you don't know who can give it to you I will cry and pray one evening an angel came to that bench and said stop disturbing heaven we have had you did the sea of all of this land and I, and I knew for the first time that heaven don't want to be disturbed if you're a lady there is a sin a man will commit you must not marry him don't come don't ever love a lazy man a complacent man you will do nothing with him somebody who give excuses for having nothing there is nothing you can do all jobs that give money have value have respect there should be no excuse for not affecting the face of the earth not even where i came from can stop me so i, I, I what i am teaching don't i know it that i have to put my hand on the horn of the altar keep on calling god until he's ready to answer i will keep calling him until next week tuesday i will still call him until it pleases him to answer next week friday i will call him i'll call him on thursday i'll call him on Sunday until he's ready to answer i will i will not remove my hand from the horn of power the bible said and jacob wrestled with him until he until he broke the the hip of joseph and changed him to israel the bible said he had power ah, jacob had power with god in the old testament what about the new he wrestled he wrestled and you're telling me it's not possible i have seen women's womb turn around in 30 years of ministry i was telling them on the other day i said the first boy i i prayed and god gave a woman was 30 years ago that boy should be 30 years now do you know what it means for a man to have wrestled and get miracle for wrestling up 30 years and i could i could look at a woman say, i turn you i don't know what the doctor said that is a problem but you have to change you have to change you have to change and a woman that they say cannot carry children suddenly start carrying children something happened because if you stay god will be helpless about answering so why do you turn your hand away from the horn when the prayer is not answered yet why do you stop the prayer on god prosper me when you're still drinking Why did you stop the prayer on marriage when those who are still coming for you are those who are broke? Can't you command the heaven to find a young boy that is that is 15 years younger than you? I have seen it before. The boy will be carrying the bag of the girl. So one day the two of them came for me for prayer. I don't know what to pray. I was saying to the boy in my heart, I said, what happened to you? <laughs> I 
I said, what did this guy give? What did this guy give you? But that was in my heart. I was supporting them physically, but I was saying, what did the guy give you? <laughs> and you know what? You know what the boy came for? The boy came and said, since they married, the woman is not giving birth. I prayed by faith. <laughs> I told the boy, I said, what do you want? He said, you want a child. I said, from who? In my heart. <laughs> he said, from my wife. I said, how did, how did it happen? <laughs> Answer the prayer of that girl and gave her something 15 years younger. And then now the boy is not carrying her bag. Anyhow, it will happen. Let it happen as long as you got what you want. After all, the inferior will serve the spirit. Anyhow. If you want miracle, create a highway. I say create. Create a highway. I'm shining on creating a highway for the coming of the lion. Whatever that we create highway for, we can't be denied. I say whatever we create highway for. No, it can't be denied. So since you were born, have you ever created a highway? John the Baptist said, they asked him, I said, John, what are you doing on earth? He said, I came to create a highway. I came to create. They said, for who? For the Lamb of God. Highway. Now, the life of John was remembered by the highway he created. I said the life of John was stored in the highway. When Jesus came, he also made a way. So any miracle you made way for will be yours. So the greatest thing we can do with our life is to do what? Is to create highway. The lion of Judah will never come on earth until a highway for his coming is created by those it is their duty we create a highway through voice consecration and sacrifice john who are you i'm a voice meant to create highway i am i am with the voice in the wilderness saying highway should be created make path straight that's my duty i will be remembered for it that is my that is my duty i want to be remembered for church how, how many sharing do you have huh? <laughs> i make my job let me round up start round up 